Welcome to my YouTube page. Um, again, I'm working with Carbide Create, Carbide Create Pro Training. So this is a quick tip one. It's going to cover planning and tracing images. So the skills you're going to use are setting background using PNGs or uh, JPEGs. Um, not The main focus is not there. It's on project planning and also tracing images and how to deal with that. So we're going to look at uh, this uh, Game of Thrones uh, dragon and how um, we can reproduce it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, project planning and, and how to build some of these files. So I'm trying to make this Game of Thrones uh, three-headed dragon. <clears throat> and so I did go uh, find a background image and you can search around. Here's a couple of them right here. And, uh, and and you can pull them up and uh, and use those for a background image and you can import those um, so you can see what's going on. So you can import a uh, set background. So that's how I got the background there. But what I want to talk about right now is um, how I do planning. So, um, <clears throat> and I've talked about this a little more in other videos, but the idea here is that you, you look at your image and you decide how you want to build it and you, you have to look at it three-dimensional. And so when I do that, I pull out different layers um, and you build them individually, different layers of different things that might be. So so this might be higher and this even higher and this even higher and so or lower. You can figure that out. But uh, specifically what I wanted to talk about in this one was um, how I get how I get these uh, model pieces here. And so what I do is I go to, um, in, in the design tool, you come over to image trace and you pull up image trace and you really want a, a, a high contrast image uh, is, is the best thing you can do. So this is not necessarily the best image. And so if I do a trace here, I, 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 lose, I lose a lot over here, but some of this is pretty good. So what, what I have done is I've, I've gone in and said, oh, well, I'll just use all three of them. And so I'll, 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 I'll set my threshold and I'll pull this image off and then I'll load it on to my screen. And then I'll, I'll do this one a little, little lighter and it gets a little more and I'll load that onto my screen. And then you can change it even more and, and try it again and you'll get a different area again. And so, uh, if, if I look at what I've pulled up here, these are three different threshold levels of drawings and all of them have good pieces like these wings here are better and up here the, the face of this dragon is better and uh, you know this claw here is really good on this one. And so you, you can go in here and um, pull in all three different levels and then you can use some of your other features like uh, um, you know tracing and creating polygon lines and doing nodes to clean those up and then build these individual pieces that you can lay back on top of each other and come up with your your drawing and so even though when you do an image trace one part might be dirty um, as an aggregate you can take all three of them and you can even use uh, you can even use the boolean act and boolean tools to to cut and paste this and you can also use uh, the the uh, trim vector tools uh, to to uh, to cut these pieces up to do these different levels and then once you have the different levels you lay them back on top and see how they fit and you can clean them up but that's uh, one thing that's been very helpful to me well thank you for your time i hope this was valuable to you if it was please like and subscribe um, i've put together some links that are helpful not only from uh, uh, carbide create sites but also for some other good youtube sites and just some other resources that you can draw from.